Some will win, some will lose, some are born to sing the blues. And then well, you're doing something right. <laughs> Patrick, always a pleasure. Thank it's you. Really gotten better and sharper throughout the years. Yeah, no, I'm so glad I could keep the secret for three months. Well, to be perfectly honest, I'm just having some trouble getting past the face painting. Well, all right, so you don't like the face painting. I just won't paint it anymore. Yep. But you like the face painting. Well, I don't need to do it. It's not like I have it or anything. Dick, this is insane. I can't fight the Red Scare. Yes, you can. I'm just an accountant. People change. People die. Oh, well, they don't. Yes, they do. On well, my watch, they don't. We Hello, Red. Hello, Lydia. Hi. Hello. Secretary, if you were my morning cup of coffee, where would you be right now? <laughs> right here. No. I was just about to pour it. In the time it took to concoct that ridiculous story, you could have made my coffee and gotten me a chocolate chip skull. <laughs> Years ago, I didn't know what I was doing. Well, nevertheless, we have to do something about it. I don't even know it's mine. It could be British or French. Big Sky, you look like shit, man. What happened? I don't know. I got fucking wasted last night. My phone says I texted someone at 3.15 asking them to beat me up. And then uh, at 4.30 I texted the same person saying thanks. And you don't remember it? No, same as last time. There was a type of situation which occurs all too often in the story of the Baudelaire orphans called dramatic irony. Simply put, a dramatic irony is when a person makes a remark and someone who hears it knows something which makes the remark have a different, usually unpleasant meaning. Hey, hey oh good, you're home. Listen, I was talking to some people... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Just walked in the door. If we're gonna talk, I gotta get a can of listening juice. <laughs> Who's the new hire? Him, he, uh, he used to be a cop. I was thinking that maybe we should take it easy on the after hours. Uh, you know, clandestine. Nothing fancy, no heroics, about a book this time. Got it. Hey, Jeff, what's happening, buddy? We, we were just wondering what you were doing here. That's talking to you. Uh, you know our arrangements, Jeff. You don't travel outside of the EF and our subway lines in exchange. You get to eat all the inorganic garbage that you want. What the hell are you doing here, worm? It's called pick on the new guy. Here's how it works. We pick on the new guy. And you can't do anything about it. Let's try one. You dropped your pencil. Did you hear the man? I don't see a man. I see two little girls. I think I'll call you Marie and you Brittany. It's the, the lining of Amanda's internal organs just spilling out of her. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm not dying. I got frozen peas in his butt. In the comics, she eat mutton. Whatever that is. There's another thing. In the comics, you always win the battle and you end up with some babe. But you never kiss her or nothing. Comics leave out the best part. so smoking hot. God, I would do things to her that. You would probably laugh at it. You bitch! Well, it's just me and my old nemesis. First step. <laughs> Every decade or so, she gets a new one. This year's model is called Conk. Yeah, I got that there. It's fine. It was in my chair. Oh, oh, I know. Yzma. Yzma's in your chair, right? Very good Conk. Here, get the snack. Got it. Such uncharacteristic inefficiency. It's as if the workforce is smaller, as if we were missing. Of course, the evil emperor Zerk has kidnapped one of our LGS. What do you do for a living, Mr. Wolf? I'm a shepherd. Hey, 
You might as well confess. I told them everything. Could you keep her away from me, please? Oh, oh, it's on me. Get it off. Get it off. Get it off. Get it off. Oh, 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 oh. Calm down. It's just a bug. Help. Help. Look, Locke, all you need is, uh, is, uh, it's a big crazy yell. Like this? Great big one? Right, but don't forget to yell. I told you to leave the herd. Never, ever, ever. Never? Never, ever, ever come back. Back? Sure. And we're gonna miss you guys. Oh, the upholstery! Oh, I heard you. You're that bear that got his butt thumped by a squirrel. <laughs> it was. I lost count for one verse. Step, kick, pivot, kick, walk, 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 pivot, walk, 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 walk. Call back! Did y'all see that? Check this! Hey, Black. No parking on the dance floor. Parking? Royal Pain is a girl. Yes, I'm a girl, you idiot! How I ever lost to a fool like you will never know. Now prepare to be pacified. Do you honestly think you can kill me with that little toy gun of yours? My dear commander, who said anything about killing you? That's... Remember what Van said, why is your life any more valuable than mine? That's funny, I just can't seem to recall that. <laughs> I think something stinks in here. I love the smell of flowers. Yeah? How do you like the smell of flames? A slipper. Maybe she was the maiden after all. At last, a damsel in distress. <laughs> We're gonna destroy their houses, pull down their temples, and make the streets of the city one red with Trojan blood! <laughs> Except for this one over here. Hi, y'all. If it isn't Sir Burps. Brock, what are you doing here? <laughs> Your dad sent me. You're late for the uh, board meeting. Okay, I know. I just tell him that I need a few more minutes. Oh, thanks, little squeaky. You're the best friend I ever had. Even better than that old sock with the hole in it I found that one time. It's according to our records. You have no records. You don't exist. And that's why you're at the Military Extraterrestrial Research Facility. Murph, for short. I thought you put it on autopilot. It just maintains course and altitude. It doesn't know how to find the only airstrip within a thousand miles so it can land itself when it needs gas. And I, I mean, surround sound. It's like, it's like you're there. What are you talking about? So did you go bowling with those people last night? No, I stayed home. I watched that rebound wedding. Oh, stop with the reality. <laughs> what I want is the color of snow. It makes snails understand death. Ah. She goes right, we should probably do something about that. Right? Because that's what heroes like us do. Boom! This is my wheelchair. There are many like it, but this one is mine. Without me, my wheelchair is useless. Without my wheelchair, I am useless. Shut up! Okay.